Parak Malay, Standard Malay, Bahasa Malayu Parak, Jawi script, Bas Malay v Rak is one of the Malay dialects spoken within the state of Parak, Malaysia. Although it is neither the official language nor the standard dialect in the whole state of Parak, its existence which co-exists with other major dialects in the state of Parak still plays an important role in maintaining the identity of Parak. In spite of the fact that there are five main dialects traditionally spoken in Parak, only one of which is intended by the name. Parak Malay. There are subtle phonetic, syntactic and lexical distinctions from other major Malay dialects. Parak Malay can be divided into two sub-dialects, Kuala Kangsar and Parak Tenga, named after the Daira districts where they are predominantly spoken. Classification Linguistically, the Malay dialects spoken in the state of Parak are diverse. In fact, there is still no definite classification of the type of Malay dialects used in Parak. Ismail Hussein classified the Malay dialects in Parak into five types segregated into five different areas. While Harun Matt Pia categorized them into six. Although Asma Haji Omar divided the Malay dialects in Parak into five types, the specifications of the division did not coincide with that of Ismail's. Distribution Parak Malay is spoken throughout the whole state except in the northwestern parts of Parak, Karian, Larut, Matang and Salama, and a few parts of Manjing district including Pongkor Island where the northern dialect is predominantly spoken. In the northeastern part of Parak, Hulu Parak, and some parts of Salama and Karian, the Malay people natively speak a distinct variant of Malay language which is most closely related to Kelantan Patani Malay and the Malay dialects of southern Thailand due to geographical borders and historical assimilation. This variant is occasionally classified as a sub-dialect of Yawi. The district of Hulu Parak once was ruled by the Kingdom of Riman. Riman was historically a part of Greater Patani, which is now a province of Thailand, before gaining independence in 1810 from the Patani Kingdom via a rebellion by the royal family. While in the southern parts of Parak, Halir Parak and Batang Padang, and also in the districts of Kampar and Kinta and several parts of Manjing, the dialect is heavily influenced by southern Malay dialects of the peninsula such as Selangor, Malacca and Johor Riau Malay and various languages of Indonesian archipelago namely Javanese, Banjar, Rawa, Mandaling and Baganese as a result of historical immigration, civil war such as Klang War and other inevitable factors. Whilst there are many Malay dialects significantly found in Parak, all Malay dialectologists basically agreed that Parak Malay is spoken by the native Malay people who traditionally have long been subsisting along the riverine system of Parak which comprises Parak River Valley and its vicinity except those at the upper stream. Historically, it was a tradition for the Malay peasants in Parak to settle along the Parak River. Royal residences also were built at various sites along the river basin, and there was never any attempt to move to another tributary. Characteristics Phonology Open final syllables It has been said that in general, the Malay people in Malaya distinguish the dialect of Parak by the final, a vowel in standard Malay substituted into strong. E, in contrast to O, and T in the other Malay dialects, similar to inland Terengganu dialect. So as for the word mata I, which is shown by the phonemes, mata, in standard Malay, is pronounced as mat, in Parak Malay notably in central Parak region. It appears that Parak Malay has a vowel raising rule which changes word final, a vowel of standard Malay to Exception of this rule occurs for some words as shown in the table below. This exception is regarded as common amongst most Malay dialects in the peninsula. As the prevalence of Parak Malay, the diphthongs presented by the graphemes I and O are often articulated as varied forms of monophthongs. Still and all, diphthongization of monophthongs occurs in certain conditions instead. For instance, the final vowels sound I and U are articulated to some extent as diphthongs I Y and UW, respectively. The monophthongization patterns phonetically vary by the sub-dialects. The pattern, I, transformed to, a, is particularly restricted to some areas within the district of Parak Tenga. Typically in most villages in Parat and southward to Boda, this pattern is applied. 
While in the sub-districts of Kampung Gaja and northward to Lambur, the speakers tend to utter in the similar form as in Kuala Kangsar sub-dialect. Closed final syllables There is a phonological rule in Parak Malay that neutralizes the final nasals to alveolar nasal. The final nasals, m, and, phonetically exist in certain environments. In other circumstances, the nasals are neutralized to n. This neutralizing rule operates only if the final nasals are directly preceded by i, or e. In addition, the e, and o, are allophones of i, and u, in closed final syllables in general Malaysian phonology. Roticity Most of Malay dialects particularly in Malaysia are non-rhotic. Parak Malay is one of non-rhotic variants of Malay language and the R is guttural. In Parak Malay, if the R appears in the initial and middle position of a word, it will be pronounced as French. R specifically voiced uvular fricative, but if it comes in the final position of a word and in a postvocalic setting, it will be dropped or deleted and then substituted into an open vowel, usually O, by affecting the open vowel preceding it. Vocabulary Personal pronouns Parak Malay differs lexically from standard Malay for some personal pronouns. The suffix me indicates plural pronoun, possibly me is derived from the word semua that means all in Malay. Notes, asterisk Kuala Kangsar variant asterisk asterisk influence of the northern dialect. Intensifiers Instead of using bevano or sangat as intensifier for an adjective, Parak Malay speakers also use specific intensifiers for some adjectives. Animals Parak Malay also differs phonetically and lexically from standard Malay for some animals. Fruits and plants Parak Malay has distinct names for specific fruits and plants. Some differ in pronunciation from standard Malay. References Bibliography Department of Statistics Malaysia 2010, Total Population by Ethnic Group, Mukim and State, Malaysia, 2010 Parak, PDF, Archived from the Original, PDF, on 14 November 2012 Asma Omar, 2008, Susur Galur Bahasa Melayu, Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka, Kuala Lumpur, ISBN 978-9836298-263-S Nathason, 2001, Makna Dalam Bahasa Melayu, Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka, Kuala Lumpur, ISBN 983-62-6889-8 Cecilia Oday and Bim Stokoff, 1997, Proceedings of the 7th International Conference on Austronesian Linguistics, Rada PBV, Amsterdam, Atlanta, ISBN 90-420-0253-0 Asma Haji Omar, 1991, Bahasa Malayu Abad K-16, Satu Analisis Berdasarkan Tex Malayu Backquote Akaid Al-Nasafi, Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka, Kuala Lumpur Zaharani Ahmad, 1991, The Phonology and Morphology of the Parak Dialect, Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka, Kuala Lumpur Raja Mukhtaradan bin Raja Mode. Dane, 1986, Dialect Parak, Yayasan Parak, Ipo James T. Collins, 1986, Antology Kajian Dialect Malayu, Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka, Kuala Lumpur Barbara Watson Andaya, 1979, Parak, The Abode of Grace. A Study of an 18th Century of Malay State, Oxford in Asia, Kuala Lumpur, ISBN 978-0-19-580385-3 Asma H. J. Omar, 1977, Kepalbagayan Phonology Dialect Dialect Melayu, Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka, Kuala Lumpur Charles Cuthbert Brown, 1941, Parak Malay, The Federated Malay States Government Press, Kuala Lumpur John Frederick Adolphus McNair, 1878, Parak and the Malays, Cornell University Library, New York, ISBN 978-1-4297-4312-9.